To begin, let's consider the client-side rendering and visualization available with tiled imagery layers related to the Cameron Peak fire. Here, I have an Airbus Spot 7 scene acquired last year on September 7th, about three weeks after the fire started. This fire was finally contained on December 2nd, but made its mark as the largest wildfire in Colorado history. This image is 60 kilometers wide, has four bands and 16-bit pixel values as reflectance. Tiled imagery layers include all bands at the full pixel bit depth, which we can observe in the pop-up. Tiled imagery layers stream data to the client as CRF tiles containing all bands. Tiled imagery layers expose client-side rendering in the image display menu for compositing, stretching, and dynamic range. Changes are instantaneous and happening on the client side. Among the rendering options are RGB composite, stretch type, and gamma. Here, I have an elevation mosaic for the state of Colorado from USGS 1 3rd Arc 2nd Masters, also as a tiled imagery layer. This elevation data aids in the understanding of fire progression and post-fire recovery efforts through its ability to provide slope, aspect, and terrain ruggedness. For terrain, there are additional rendering options, including shaded relief. Like the spot tiled imagery example, the rendering happens instantly on the client side. When working with a single band like Terrain, the classify renderer is available, including the classification method, number of classes, and color ramp selector.